What's going on guys? Welcome to the vid. Today we are featuring Mark's 1997 R33 GTR and it's not just any ordinary 33. Stay tuned. Let's check it out. All right, Mark. It's been a long time coming. It has. We talked about featuring this car maybe two years ago before yep. I left the first time. Yep. Then we bumped into each other at the pop-up meet a few weeks ago. And I was like, wait a minute. I remember you have a really cool GTR that I've been wanting Thank to you. check out. Appreciate that. Yeah, and a lot of work and time has went into this. Finally making it happen. Mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and uh, kick it off. How long have you had it? Um, I've had a little over 10 years. Uh, it's a 97 Koki edition. It's a May of 97 build. So um, it's eligible to go back to the States if you yep. wanted to here in a few months. Yep. Two well, months. In a, yeah. Then a month, actually. Yeah. yeah. Next, Next month. month. So. But yeah, if I, I I won't probably ship it anytime soon. But however, the option is there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's I've had it a little over ten years and been building it ever since. Initially, I got it and it had twin turbos and an exhaust and some wheels and stuff, the normal stuff. And then I went ahead and took the engine out, forged internals, and put different twin turbos on it and uh, got it tuned up. And it was maybe about 600 horsepower at the time. Moving forward from there, I put a EFR. Uh, 8374 on it single turbo and super responsive i would hit 2.2 bar boost at about 3800 rpms 2.2 .2 bar 2.2 .2 bar That's boost. like 30 pounds 30 30 PS, pounds. 33 psi yeah 33 psi Ooh. at 3800 uh oh. rpm so oh. it was a monster so immediately i went towards track tires or drag radials to mm -hmm. keep it on the road and then from there i went to a drag race event uh at izena that they have here in okinawa and i did a 65 200 meter wow with, with the 8374 and it was tuned on a uh, hks fcon v pro so from there moving forward they came out with a hybrid turbo 9174 um, about 100 horsepower larger turbo and put that on and then i put a heltec in and then i had issues launching it and then it kept raining and then COVID hit so from there i put the 9274 on it because i want a little bit more power but the response never changed mm -hmm. so even from a 600 to a 900 horsepower i was still getting over 30 psi a boost at under 4,000 rpm wow so it's a um, lot of power in yep. a short period of time yep. and then from there um, i got it repainted got everything done they pulled out the engine painted the engine bay painted the trunk and then put a surge tank in the trunk and when they got ready to put my old engine back into my car they noticed i had a little bit of crank walk when they were putting the crank trigger mm -hmm. so ended up rebuilding an engine so i ended up with a with a brand new block as magnesium phosphate dipped so there's less friction and stuff like that mm -hmm. and then they took the napric head off put it on there it's um uh hks stage two pistons and then i got perillo pro h beam rods that i put in and then the crank is a one-off from this guy in mainland japan sagami san uh and factory knows them um, they're really good so friends nori, they nori did everything in. yep so nori coordinated yep. with the guy in mainland yep building the building the monster yep guys walk around and check this thing out yeah, so sure yeah. I mean, um, the, the paint looks phenomenal on it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, we'll start with the trunk. Let me open the trunk. Yeah, we'll, we'll start. Typically, we start up front and move okay. back. But no, no, let's, let's go ahead and start in the back. The back's actually impressive. Okay. Right. Not a lot of, you know, so, not a lot of people have cool trunks. And this yes. is a really cool trunk. Thank you. Yeah, it was repainted. Everything is good. The surge tank in there. It's got a Nismo pump feeding to uh, Bosch 4044 external pumps that's insane and my my fuel pressure at idle is four bar wow the big thing that i'm proud of is the alcon brakes so i got 365 32 rear and 350 28 front wow brakes got i ordered from england beautiful thank you Let's check it all out i want to i want to see everything look at the interior um i have twin stratia two bride seats um, they're reclinable and of course that shifter the ppg is obvious six speed sequential wow nardi steering wheel it's probably the oldest thing on the car yep and then the uh, ic7 dash <laughs> i hear the fuel pumps <laughs> wow no, no no that's awesome you literally turn the key on and then i hear the fuel system in the back going yep. going crazy and the fans kicking on wow so yep ic7 dash this thing is it's beautiful Cl clean outside on the inside What's that? do i want to see the engine bay yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, you said you swapped like 14 turbos, <laughs> rebuilt the engine 17 right. times. So you want to see what I ended up with. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, those fans are some insane. Of the, some <laughs> of the big things um, that, that that are noticeable for most people, but uh, maybe hidden a little bit, is the Nismo intake was bored to 40, 49 millimeter from 42 millimeter, and I have um, Napric runners, so I get more in, more air in, and then billet covers. MSD coil packs are not normal for most people. Um, and then the 9274 EFR turbo. Man, this thing looks monstrous. So I've never heard of anybody boring out the Nismo intake manifold is that pretty common yeah. for, for going well, high horsepower? If you want to install the Napric runners, so the Napric runners open up the so air. I mean, it's about yeah, it's a thousand dollar upgrade for that. And wow. then, but in order to take full advantage of it, you need to have the opening size the same as the runners. Mm -hmm. So makes sense. Yep. And then I like the uh, the end factor here. Yeah, the, the Owens in the background. Yeah, because I have Owens road and track. That's yeah, awesome. Suspension. Titanium yeah. front strap bar. Yep. Is yeah, that custom? Fujikura. No, it's uh, from a company you can get Fuji Fujimura. Sorry. Fujimura. Fujimura. Yep, and they have a brake stopper. Oh wow. Yep. So it comes built in with the uh, with the bar. Beautiful. Yep. Of um, the PRP crank trigger, you can see you can see that. So PRP, I know a lot of the guys doing the uh, the end factory builds, like the big horsepower. They're going with the trigger kids from PRP. Yep. Is that kind of like the new? The new hotness right now yeah, is a must-have for, um, for guys looking to build their it's GTR. It's safer because there's so much breakup on the stock cast sensors that they install those, and it allows the and, and they're installing Heltex with it, so it allows the Heltec to read the new software, Nexus software that came out from Heltec has oscilloscope built in so you can actually order the pro trigger kit and you can use the oscilloscope to calibrate the uh the bottom crank trigger kit. so it has nothing to do with the fact that the the cam angle sensor was a mitsubishi part and you wanted it <laughs> <laughs> no we're not gonna go there we'll keep it clean this time <laughs> tomei cam gears yeah i mean it's yep. it's beautiful it's i mean it looks new cams are 10.2 uh 272 um, pretty aggressive. Yep. The head was um, half the skish was removed to allow for higher lift. And then let's talk about the uh, the exhaust. I mean, yep. it's pretty. The exhaust is custom. It's a uh, hundred mi a hundred mil and hundred mil. Hundred mil straight out. Straight out. Way. So hundred mil. If four I remember inch. correctly, eighty was what three inch. Yes. So, so four inch four straight inch back. Straight back. Wow. Yep. And yeah, I'm getting ready to, so with this turbo, the size of the turbine housing, I'm getting too much back pressure. So at 2.2 bar of boost, I'm getting 2.7 bar of back pressure. So I'm going to install, which I already ordered and is sitting at N Factory, a uh, Garrett G40 1150 turbo, which has a larger opening, which is four inch, so allow the air to get wow. out. Yeah, you were telling me about that. You were hoping to have it done. It's, yeah, I know. But, yeah. you know, things happen and, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, Nori's I'm, busy, so. Oh, yeah, he's been yeah. super busy lately. I've done plenty of features on mm -hmm. GTRs on the channel that you guys might remember, and I think all the, all of them for the most part, all like the good builds out here were done. Speed Factory, now End yep. Factory by Nori. Yep. So he's definitely uh definitely a legend you guys might remember his shop i featured a little walkthrough when i was picking up my buddy steve's r33 a few weeks ago but I'm glad to see he's out here you know keeping yeah, it going absolutely yep good guy There's something a little unique with the exhaust manifold it's twin waste gated you mean twin so waste gated it's a full race twin scroll twin waste gated what? for response they build it for response um, and is it recirculating is it like yes yeah yep wow yep and uh, that's pretty unique about it. That that adds to the response of it. Fuel system. I know we saw everything in the back. Yep. Thousand fuel pressure regulator. Thousand injectors, injector dynamics. It's a custom fuel rail, a Run Max uh, fuel pressure regulator. And custom catch can. Yes. Very nice. Yep. I mean, even these lines are massive. Yeah. <laughs> Coming from the billet. <laughs> Those are hyper tuned billet uh, aluminum covers. You did not <laughs> cut out on anything. Everything in here is done right, <laughs> done proper. Yeah, thank you. I see all the Haltech stuff. I mean, yep. Yeah, got the Haltech I... shirt on right now. <laughs> so, when did you make the switch to Haltech? Um, about four years ago. Four years ago? And yep. never looked back? Never looked back. Um, compared to the old technology, the HKS FCON, um, it's super responsive compared to that. He, you know, just just putting it in and having a regular tune in it, not mm -hmm. even digging into the tune, it was already more responsive just installing that. Wow. Tech. So Australian company, right? Yes. Yeah. 
Yep. I, it's funny, I go to Up Garage and I see the uh, HKS yeah. cons and I'm like, yeah, yeah they're just sitting there collecting RFC, dust. The yep. Pexy yeah, the Pexy, yeah. yeah. People still put them in, but for this build, definitely need something a little bit more advanced. It's on pump gas. So, so <laughs> there's no dyno out here, right? No. There's, yeah, I mean, that that we know of, it's all but dyno and I've, yeah. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Other guys with similar builds in the States yeah. or Australia or in Europe, yep. what do they put down? They're over a thousand horsepower. Yeah, with the G11, uh, G4150 at 2.2 bar, that should be over a thousand crank, uh, 850 at the wheels. 850 at the wheels, yeah. on a 2.8 liter. Yep. Big single. Yep. I'm scared. Yeah, <laughs> it's, um, it's tough to keep on the road. <laughs> I have not fully accelerated in first or second gears yet. So, really? But yeah. <laughs> I have not. So it's already pretty dangerous in third through six. So, oh. Yeah. Yep. So but, street tires, obviously, when you go out to uh, Zana, yep. are you running slicks? Drag radials. Drag yep. radials. Yep. Who's your drag radials? But, I mean, these, these are, are 200 grade. Yeah, really proxies. Ours. Yeah. These are track tires. These 100 grade? Yes. 100 treadwear? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah, that's probably just to keep you like grounded just slightly, driving around town. Slightly straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, this is yep. insane. Love it. Thank Love you. it. Yep. Carbon fiber drive shaft. I forgot to mention Okay. That, so. so you have a carbon Protein fiber drive. assembly is lighter. So you got it 10 years ago. So 2012. Yep. yep. The prices have changed a lot, huh? Oh, yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah, quite um, a bit. I I only paid 25 grand for it back then. Really? And how many and kilometers uh, did it have on it at the time? 40,000. 40,000 kilometers. really low. Like, That's... you find one nowadays, those go for Oh, wow. Time. I couldn't imagine how much a 40,000 kilometer R33 yeah. GTR in this condition, minus all, you know, just stock with the yeah. engine. Or, I mean, we're talking big money. Yeah. yeah. So I bet you're, yeah, you're, you're happy you with the market. <laughs> Everybody else watching this right now wishing to get one. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Can't pay those prices anymore. No, so no, no. Unless it's wrecked. It yeah. might be a roller and you might be able to get one for that price. Yeah. But so, do you want to hear it run? Yeah. I, I would love to hear it start up. Sure, sure. Oh, and the exhaust. What are we on the, the cat back? Is it just a... It's a, a, it's a tip. It's just, just a, a tip. Just a tip, kind of yeah. welded onto the four it's inch. Kakimoto. Kakimoto, tip. titanium. Yeah. What kind of clutch are you? Oh. C 1000 F SPL. Okay. So it supports up to 1200 horsepower. You're getting close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> getting close. <laughs> Sounds so angry. sounds like right there uh, so when you were drag racing out here yep. legally of course yep uh, you ever race a Supra any, any locals uh, no, anybody no there are no Supras oh there's one Supra but he wasn't in my class so I didn't race him okay uh, a friend of mine has a nice Supra that he goes out to the drag races and brings but he didn't race it at the track so I was wondering if you're uh, Laying it down out there on some Supras, you know. <laughs> yeah, whatever gets in my way, actually. <laughs> we are officially in the uh, 1,000 horsepower GTR. We got Anthony back here. I don't know if you can see him. Hey. Found him walking out on the side of the road, and he was like, hey, can I go for a ride? <laughs> I was one of Mark's buddies, wanted to come tag along. That transmission sounds awesome. It does. It does. Yeah, it's my best investment besides the engine now. I don't even want to know uh, how much that that costs. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. So is the it? The thing about it is, is it's in a stock case. Uh -huh. So if you have any issues, you can um, take it apart, order gears from PPG, and install them. Put it back in the case and put it back up. Versus the OS, the OS88, you had to uh, ship it to them. They would do the to it and then they would ship it back and charge you whatever they wanted so it's more like yeah. kind of user friendly yeah so how does it work you see so you're lifting up yeah i lift it up for first gear and then just to get it in gear it's like a motorcycle transmission yes yeah
insane. It's so smooth. Thank you. Yeah. And it shifts so like, fast. It does. It does it's like one continuous. It was like instantaneous. When you're at the you're just constantly in boost? Yeah. yeah. So what made you want to just go all out and build like just an insane high horsepower car? Have you always been yeah, into I'm building a, high horsepower things? I'm an engine mechanic. I okay. I retired from the Air Force, so I've always been a gearhead. Um, but, uh, but I just, you know, once you get a little taste of some speed and power, you want a little bit more and a little bit more. Call so it the, that's it the need for speed. Yep. This thing is an absolute riot. It is turning everybody's head up here. <laughs> stock you have on the car <laughs> are these gauges right here maybe maybe yeah didn't even uh <laughs> splurge on the nismo ones i know, I know right yeah, actually i had a uh, nismo setup in the twin setup um the main gauge cluster and uh -huh. the sub cluster and i sold it when i switched to the ic set okay yeah though the prices on those went up quite a bit too oh, when yeah. i bought them they were fifty thousand yen and 500 bucks now they're going for over two thousand Imagine this car if you had shitty tires. <laughs> it would just be, yeah, we'd run in the curb. Yeah, that would be crazy. It just sounds so angry. You're running, you're running pump gas? Yep. Yeah, so 90, 93 octane, 90, 95 octane. It's about 95 equivalent, right, Tom? Yeah, 100, 100 run. Yep. I think the craziest part is how fast it breaks. Yeah. It, it breaks as fast as it gets going. Yeah. It breaks. Yeah. Hey, if you're putting power in a car like this, you have to make sure you can stop yeah. and keep the power down on the road. A lot of guys, I feel like, go for, let me throw a big old turbo on here. 
send it, you want to make sure you got the stopping power. Yep. Brakes are I just as important. I balanced it out, and suspension-wise, everything's balanced out. You could charge rides. <laughs> I know, right? You should just buy land out here and open up, like, just like a little half mile, <laughs> half miles trip. Charge people for rides. Yeah, just charge them for rides. Yeah, people are thinking about up, uh, upgrading their GTR. I'll give them a ride, and then send all their their uh, requests to N Factory for them to upgrade. Yeah. You heard it. You got a GTR and you're out here in Oki. You want some power. Yep. Sounds angry. I feel like this entire bid, all the audio is gonna be yes. just car noises. They're gonna see our mouths moving. <laughs> right, but they're only gonna hear that. Yep. Oh man. Alright, so the best way to describe it, right? Been at theme park, been on pretty big roller coaster you know that feeling you get when you like pull back in yeah, yeah, yeah. after pulling all those G's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what this that's feels what like right feels now like, now. like I'm feel, <laughs> feel like I'm just now getting off a roller coaster like it finally came back you know you're flailing around you feel like your your life is Tony too in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably pumped his head. and it literally feels like I was on a roller coaster and I'm awesome. just pulling back in and your heart's still pounding that was insane all right insane Anytime. Any anytime? Yeah, I'll give you a ride. Five, another ride anytime. Five dollars a ride. <laughs> the coolest thing about a 33 though, functional rear seats, right? Yes. It is a GT yep. car. So With a fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a functional car. Three grown men just went, you know, zero to thirty clicks pretty quick a few times and uh it's awesome. I can't say it enough. Thank you. Alright guys, my hands still shaking a little bit, but Mark, that was incredible. You guys need to find yourself a mark with a GTR like this and go for a ride. Trust me, it's an absolute blast. Uh, but that's probably going to do it for today's vid. We're losing some sunlight. Him and I are probably going to go for a ride, maybe tonight, another time, uh, maybe off, off cam. Yep. But uh, if you guys have any questions about his bill and you want to reach out to him directly, he is on Instagram and it is... R33GTR Mark. R33 GTR Mark. I'll put that down in the description below. Go follow him, give him a like, give him some love, and check his build out. And he's got a lot more stuff coming on the car, even though it seems like everything's been touched, but another another turbo. Definitely hit him up if you have any questions, all that good stuff. But that's gonna do it for today. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for more JDM content, and I'll catch y'all in the next vid. See ya.